G'day guys, how's it going? If you didn't see the video that I put up yesterday, man, you're missing out. I'll put a link up there to go and have a look, but because if you haven't seen it, go and check it out because there's some really good tips in there that I don't often see demonstrated or talked about online. But for now, time's a wasting during the day. It's already midday and I'm only just starting. So I better get this out of here. Now it's looking good. Now I'll get those lower side sections glued up. Now I've already got these planed and sanded. I did it all yesterday afternoon when I planed those ones there. I was supposed to get these glued up last night but it was running a little bit late. So they're looking quite nice. Look at that. I can assure you this thing gave me a hell of a lot of trouble. I didn't plane this one. I picked up the card scrapers and scraped the whole lot and then sanded back and forward. But now I want to put the blue tape all over it because I've got a beautiful surface here. I don't want to get glue all over it. Now you might say, well, you can just get a wet cloth and wipe it off. But the problem is, is that you're not wiping it off. All you're actually doing is thinning it down and then smearing it all over the place. Not only does that raise the grain, but you're also going to have to sand it off. You're going to have to sand off the raised grain and sand off the PVA glue because it doesn't accept the finish. But if you're wondering, do I enjoy putting sticky tape all over this stuff? Shoot me. Now I have to dry assemble this, just so I know exactly where the tape needs to go along this edge. Alright, so I'll put this away and we'll start making a template for the legs. So here I have the paper templates that I'm going to use to create the leg template out of MDF. So I need to join these together because they're just individual sheets of paper. And so as you can see, I've got horizontal lines going through these, so it gives me a good location to join them all together. But what you've got to realise is, is that line, the line weight, is about one millimetre wide. So I can't just join this line to that line willy-nilly. I, I need to get the line directly over the top of each other. So what I do, I get myself a cutting mat, I get myself a ruler, and I cut this line off on one of the pages. I just cut straight on the line, or straight on the inside edge of the line, that side of the line. Cut that off. And so now I can get this page and put it directly next to that line, not on top of the line, not over the line, just right next to the line. That way, I'm not compounding the error from the line weight. I'm not putting a line next to a line, making the one millimeter line actually two millimeters now. It's still one millimeter and it's still perfect. So when this is all finished and completed, let's say that's a meter, it will finish at a metre rather than finishing at a metre plus one millimetre, two millimetres and three millimetres, which is important given that I've got my joinery marks on here as well. And now before I do anything else, I've got to make sure that the overall length, the longest length, is actually correct. Because if that's correct, then everything else will scale down properly. Looking for 1010.2. And I've got 1010.2. So now I'll get a piece of 9mm MDF and cut that to size to use it as the template. And I'll also cut a piece of MDF for the headboard template.
So now that everything is positioned absolutely perfectly and we haven't annoyed it at all, we want to pick up a brad awl and mark out all of the, all of the drill holes now before we have an opportunity to shift this paper around even a little bit because at the moment everything's referencing off this back edge here and off the bottom so everything's perfect. And now I can cut it out on the bandsaw and shape it using whatever means I find necessary. Do you ever get the feeling that the thing that you just made was just way too small? It looks tiny. But when I put it up against my bench, yeah, seems about right. Oh, that'll do it. <sighs> and uh, that'll do it for the day too. Well, that's not too good. All I've done is made this template, glued up those things this morning and what took the other things out of the clamps. It really does suck up my time when I have to move the camera around all day. Oh well, we'll do it all again tomorrow. See you boys.